These are pretty, but I don't know anything about them. <laughs> Jesse. Hi guys. Well, um, at this point, I should have already released a picking video, but um, <laughs> I didn't get very much filmed, and what I did get filmed wasn't very good. So, in other words, I just kind of scrapped it. Um, on top of it, when I went, it was outdoor, and we were out in the dead sun, no coverage whatsoever, and I swear I felt like I was going to pass out from a heat stroke. So, I do apologize. But I do have the goodies to show you, so this is more, more or less a haul video. Um, if you are watching right now, um, I'm trying to get my numbers up on YouTube. So um, if you could please like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you a dime, but it helps me out a lot. And also, if you haven't already entered to win the free antique doll, as long as it's U.S. resident, <clears throat> go over to my Instagram page. Um, and it will let you know on the original post what you need to do to enter. Um, and that is going to be announced this Saturday on the 4th of July. So, good luck, guys. And here we go. Okay, let's see here. First item I'm going to show you is I got this beautiful piece. It's um, Greek Orthodox. Um, holy water bottle and it's in lovely condition it is a vintage piece I don't know how old it is um, I know it's at least 20 years old um, but it's in good shape no cracks or anything in the glass um, and I, I paid a, a really um, cheap price for it I think I got it somewhere around ten dollars something like that um, and I purchased it from a church um, because when the invoice came <laughs> in the mail um, there was a church. It was what I purchased it from. So I didn't even know that when I purchased it. But um, beautiful piece. And it is listed in my shop already. Um, I don't know a lot about it, like I said. But I think it is imported from Italy. So I got that. And then this piece right here is in excellent condition. Um, it says, Our Darling. And I've had many of these coffin plaques before. But, um, it is vintage or antique, I should say, because it has a patent date on the back of here of 1908. So, this must be either new old stock or someone has polished this up to a spit shine. Is the only thing I can think of. But, I think I paid around, um, $40, I think, for this. And it's in excellent condition. I think there's just a few little few scratches on the front of it but other than that as you can see it's it's gorgeous so I got that and I paid too much <laughs> I paid too much for this but I think it's a pretty piece um, I don't really know anything about it um, I paid I think it was all together about twenty three dollars but it looks to be a German um, porcelain doll. Um, possibly, I think it may be antique. Um, but it's in excellent condition. I don't see anything wrong with it. Um, not going to be making too much on this piece, but I wanted to offer something like this in my shop. And it is, it is a beautiful piece. So I got that. And... What else did I find? I got this right here. And the box is really pretty. It's like a, I don't know, it feels like a thick almost cardboard. 
but it has some extra nibs in here and it's got the scraper and looks like um, a letter opener and then um, a dip pen in it and um, on the back here it says um, the Miller Brothers Pen Company New York so um, I think it says Broadway I'm not sure I don't have my glasses as usual but it's an awesome piece I just love the box <laughs> <laughs> regardless of the contents I, I love the box but I think I paid somewhere between five to ten for this and they don't go for a whole lot I don't think um, I mean if, if this was like you know silver and all that but this is just a basic set so um, retail is not that expensive but I can make a decent profit on that and I found another bow tie believe it or not I think it's called like a diamond point um, bow tie, but I had showed you one I found before that was in the original box. This is in excellent condition. Um, I think I might have paid a dollar for it, but I mean they don't retail for that much. I think I only have it listed for eight dollars, but I just think it's cool um, because of the fact that, you know, I love all that gentlemanly type stuff like the old black and white photos with you know the men in their top hats and cane and they're you know they're just dressed to the nines so I have mine displayed um, with my beaver top hat and this would look cool I think setting up against a picture like an old black and white picture um, of a gentleman so I just thought it was cool but um, you know it's an excellent condition it's like a satin type material um, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's not frayed or anything. It's an excellent condition. I think it may be from the 50s. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I got that. And I did find another planter. Um, a lot of the planters they had there were not really priced at the, pl at the place where I could actually make any money on it. Um, I did find this one for like around $5, so I picked it up. Um, it's Hull USA and it's an excellent condition it's got that nice ribbed pattern and I like the way it's got that lighter color going around the rim um, but it's good it doesn't have any any issues with it so I snabbed that sucker it was a little dirty you know it had dirt remnants and stuff but washed it right out and it looks pretty good to go these if anybody out there knows what these could possibly be um, there was two of them in this packet and they look like they would have went on like maybe a sash or something maybe you're um, like a priest possibly but if you see here there's like little nibs where it would have kind of hooked in on the sash um, so that's my guess but I don't know um, but if anybody does know I would really appreciate it because they were they were together and they're both just like that and I think I paid gosh maybe five dollars for them and I thought it was well worth it they are a metal um, but I don't think that they would I don't think they're silver they, they could be but I don't think they are um, along the same lines I got these and I did pay four or five dollars a piece for these and the research I did on them they are called like a crack turquoise um, but they're big and they're pretty um, and I I got three of them so I just thought the cross the shape of the cross was very neat and the, the size of them was good and it'd be cool for somebody to make you know like a necklace or something out of gosh they would be awesome earrings <laughs> they would definitely be noticed for sure but I got those two, and I just thought they were very pretty. And this next piece, um, I think it's Knights Templar. I'm not really up on that. I've watched a lot of, you know, history-type shows on that. But um, I got two of these um, old sashes. They are actually turn of the century, um, I think. Um, and they're in very good shape. Um, that has this badge on here this is a velvet fabric and um, let's see the other one it's got another badge further down if I can just find
find it, we'll be good. Back here. This right here. And the only issue, well, of course, you know, they've got that age-related, you know, how the, the, the white isn't exactly white anymore. It's got that antique -y look to it. But um, there is a spot right here on this one. Um, and it almost looks like, you know, something chewed at the fabric. Hard to say. But that's the only issue. And I got them, gosh, I think for like... I think they were somewhere between 10 to $20 a piece, and I honestly cannot remember. I'm having a brain fart as usual. Um, but I thought they were they were awesome pieces. This is like a, a velvet. So, yeah. I got those. And this next piece right here, um, these are antique also. They're very, very detailed. Um, the one end here is kind of like a blunt end, um, and this end here has this point to it. Um, they're large, <laughs> and they're heavy pieces. Um, let me go back on it like that. Um, but they, <laughs> they're coffin handles, of course, you know, how I am. I like weird stuff. Um, but yeah, they were on a casket, so... Anyways, I got those, and they are listed in my shop. I don't know why I like this kind of stuff. I just do. It is, it's just so ornate and gorgeous. has, like, this gothic appeal to it. Um, so I picked those. And we're going to keep going, guys, until I run out of stuff. These particularly aren't... Sorry for moving the camera, but I got a whole bag of these. And I think what attracted me to them was just the fact of the color. It's like a robin's egg blue, but they're like, you know, like bobbins or old um, spools, you know. The But these are large, large wood spools. So I imagine the way I listed them is, you know, people could use these for some kind of assemblage. Um, like a craft project or even just for display um, because they do have an appeal to them like laying in a basket or something but I paid like one to two dollars a piece something like that for these and I just thought they were I don't know I just I thought they were neat so anyways I got those I got like 15 of them and um, I did score um, well, I don't know. Maybe you guys don't think it's a score, but I haven't run across these. There's, it's like hard to find. I got two street signs. And they're big. Oh, there we go. This one says Reliance Drive. And the other one says Ramundi Place. So... And I paid $20 each for these old black and white signs. And they're, <laughs> they're heavy. So I thought they would be cool. You know, man cave, industrial type decor. Um, so I picked up two of those. And I found, <laughs> I found another creepy doll, guys. And she is even creepier, I think, than the other one. Um, check out her face. <laughs> um, yeah. There's a little bit of remnants of paint left of her eyes. But other than that, yeah. She's kind of got that ghostly stare to her. <laughs> but somebody put this beautiful lace um, outfit on her. Look at that lace. And look at the tie on her hat. I mean, look at the detailing on that. So, anyways, I got her. Um, you know, she's she's crackly and crunchy, and she's got she's got issues, um, of course. But she is definitely an antique doll. Um, you can see the dress that she was originally in. See how it's got a few stains and stuff. And she's she's got some some crackleys going on 
but she is a composite doll and an antique so I had to get her she was like I don't know I think like 25 25 dollars something like that and the same lady that I got that from she just gave me this which I don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with it but that's a funny looking doll look at this thing <laughs> But, yeah, I, I really don't know anything about it, <laughs> what I could do with it. But, anyways, yeah, she just gave me this, so. I got that. And I found some more, of course, black and white photos. Um, I got this card, though, um, to go along with the ones I've collected, because I thought this room that it's depicting in here... It's just gorgeous. This one right here. And those were, those were a dollar piece. This one's really neat. It's like a whole, whole huge gathering here. I don't know whether it's, you know, a family, um, you know, I don't know the history, but it's just really neat to look at all of it. And this guy right here. So I got those for a dollar a piece. <clears throat> and then I got this too, which says Australian Commonwealth military forces um i don't know anything about it if anybody does know anything about it um let me know but i just thought this was a really neat pin um, it is a pin and it looks to be fairly old um so you can tell by the clasping on the back i just love the imagery and this right here, if anybody knows about this too, this tag is very heavy and it's massive. Um, don't know what it could have possibly hung on, but it's a big one. This was just a dollar right here. It's just an old Rawlings bottle and it's in excellent condition. It's just doesn't have any clouding or anything. It's, it's great. See, one buck. And then I got a hold of a bunch of these. Um, they were only a dollar a piece. And these were, um, they're like Remembrance Morning cards. Um, right here. But on the back of them, it, it has the person's name and, you know, uh, date of birth, date of death. Um, this person, let's see here, you can probably read it better than I can, but it looks like it was in Cincinnati and they were born around 1866, I think. You guys may be able to, be able to read it better than I can, but anyways, um, yeah, I got a bunch of those. And I, I don't know what it is, but I like little knickknacks and boxes and stuff and it's basically kind of I don't know it reminds me like a coffin shaped um, but it's just an old you know box that a piece of jewelry would have come in I think I only paid gosh maybe a dollar or 75 cents or something like that for it but I don't know I just like little tidbits like this and last but not least this baby <laughs> with the side look going on don't know how old it is um, plastic and I don't know pretty good condition besides just being a little dirty Um, she had it marked well she did have a price marked on it like for four or something it looks like it might have been <clears throat> But she actually, I think, gave me this one for 50 cents. And then this little cute rotary phone. It's 
little plastic rotary phone. It doesn't have these little bits in here left on it, but when you dial on it, it makes the bell ring. So I thought it was cute. Anyways, guys, that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed my haul. And I wanted to let you know, too, um, good news. I finally did um, get um, an entomologist for you. So I'm going to be doing a video on that, and that will be coming next, um, my next video upload. So it should be very interesting, especially if you like creepy crawlies, any kind of bugs, tarantulas, butterflies, all that stuff. So, and I'm very interested in it, so I'm going to have a good time myself doing the interview. And I did get this guy, too. I forgot to show him to you. It's just an old advertising card. So, anyways, till next time, guys. See you later.